Now the third function is the go to goal location and here it takes as parameter the goal location x coordinate of the goal location and the y coordinate of the goal location and the objective here is actually to take the robot from one location for example from here to here okay we want to start from this point okay so how can we do this we can actually make a rotation until this angle then moving straight but this is not a smooth motion we want to make a smooth motion so that the robot moves automatically to this location here and then can for example start the, the cleaning mission so in order to do this we're going to use a PID controller as already explained the C++ version okay so this robot is going to move from this point to this point so what we can do we can set the linear velocity imagine that it is looking at this direction we can set the linear velocity as proportional to the distance to the goal location so when it is far from the goal location for example uh, the linear velocity is going to be high so it's going to move fast toward the goal and as it is approaching the goal location is going to reduce its linear speed and it stops completely when it reaches this point same thing so you can see now the direction is in this way so actually it has to rotate either in this direction or either in this direction so we need also to apply at the same time an angular velocity okay so that to make a smooth motion and smooth rotation toward the goal location okay so i already explained the mathematics in the c++ version okay and here we're going to calculate the distance so the distance is between the current location and the goal location will be calculated using the Euclidean distance equation and then I'm going to set the linear speed equal to the distance multiplied by some kind of constant this is why we call it proportional controller because here it is proportional to the error and the error in this case is actually the distance when the distance is equal to the goal location the linear velocity is going to be equal to zero and the robot is going to stop and this is what we want okay and of course this constant can be any constant of your choice in some cases you have to tune it carefully otherwise you can have an, a bad behavior or an expected behavior so 0 0.5 would be a fine value for the moment Okay, this is in what concerns the linear speed and we will do the same for the angular speed. First of all, we need to calculate the desired angle. So now this robot is looking in this direction and we want it to go to that direction. So look, this whole angle, we need to measure this whole angle. Okay, in trigonometry, we can use the arctangent method in order to calculate the angle between this location and this location. And this is equal to arc tangent to the position of uh, y goal minus y the current location of the robot and x goal minus x this is the current location of the robot the x location of the robot okay using this equation i can determine the angle that the robot needs to rotate and then the angular speed will be proportional to the angle the difference between the angle uh, the desired angle and all minus the current rotation of the robot so this is going to give me the relative angle to rotate in order to the move to the goal location and as such the angular speed is going to be different from zero as long as this difference is, is different from zero when the desired angle is equal to the same direction of the robot then it's going to become zero and in this case we will guarantee that the robot is going to rotate toward the goal location okay until it looks straight to the goal location in this case this component is going to be zero and finally we will update the velocity message x by the linear speed that we have calculated here and the angular speed that we have calculated here and finally we will publish the velocity message and make the robot move if the distance is smaller than certain threshold to the goal location because we cannot have an exact equality between the goal location and the current location because these are float numbers so exact equality is impossible so in this case i'm going to use a small threshold in order just to make sure that the distance is smaller to a very small value okay in this case i will consider that i have reached and i will exit the while loop this is what we will do and we can check this behavior here so for example i will go to one one so now let us try the go to goal function we're going to move the robot from this location that is almost five five to the point one one okay so let's see how it works execute 
and then you can see this is a smooth motion toward the goal location okay so it's going to continue moving until it reaches almost the desired point so let's try to change these values for example to 7 8 I'm going to print the XY coordinates here I'm going to print the XY coordinates and I will execute again and you can see it's going to move until it reaches the XY coordinate look it's almost 7 here and almost 8 here so when the distance is very very small 7.99 and 6.99 it's almost 7 and 8 so the robot is going to stop so now we have implemented three behaviors move rotate and go to goal now we have all the ingredients actually to make the cleaning application but of course so imagine that I take the robot to the position 1 1 to start the cleaning from there so I'm going to take it back to 1 1 and you will see okay now the robot is going to look into this direction now I want the robot to move straight in this line like this okay so in this case I have to rotate the robot and make its orientation equal to 0 in this case so we need a method that will rotate the robot until a desired orientation okay for example in this case I want to make it looking into this direction so it can move straight into this direction and for this we will do a method that is called set orientation 